Hi, I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about my last two weeks because they have been crazy and fun, adventurous, and of course there's quilts involved. Let me tell you about them and I hope you have as much fun hearing about it as I've had living it. <laughs> I got home last Saturday evening so exhausted because I had just been driving, driving, driving to get ready for a Sister Chick's Quilt Retreat. Got it all taken care of. It was a huge success. So much fun. I didn't even finish unloading my car until Wednesday. I just wasn't going anywhere but putting my feet up. However, when I did come into my quilting room, this was staring me in the face. And most of you recognize it as my scrappy trip around the world that is a baby quilt. I wasn't buying the baby quilt. There was too much work in it, and it just didn't seem baby to me. So, <laughs> I came up with another baby quilt and 40 extra blocks. No, 30 extra blocks because there's 42 blocks in this and I made it a full size quilt. That was a good part of my week. Here's a little photo shoot I did of the quilt. Now, while you're taking a look at this, what do you think of those colors in it? Oh my gosh, they are so soft and subtle. It's a little bit impressionistic to me. Don't you think the colors on a scale of that size just turned out absolutely beautiful? I sure do. So that took me a couple of days to do because I was in no hurry. But you guys are dying to hear about the quilt retreat, right? I'm dying to tell you about the quilt retreat. All pop pictures in while I'm talking so you can see. I have a few videos. We had a great photographer. Her name was Amber and she is a quilter. That was perfect. We also had corporate sponsors and they all donated to the gift bag. The gift bag was pretty dang nice and I'm hoping next year to make it even bigger slash nicer. It was so cool. One thing that is always going to be in the gift bag when you go to Sister Chick's Quilting Retreat is a collectible chick pincushion. This was the pincushion for this year and isn't it cute? See the little... Anyway, they're filled, the chick pin cushions are always filled with crushed walnut shells so they keep your pin sharp. I have a great idea for next year's pin cushion. I can't wait to make it. It's going to be very non-traditional, but it will be a chick. We also want to thank the Gathering Place Fabric Store in Rupert, Idaho. They always welcome us and are generous to give us a discount on our shopping for the day that we go over to the Gathering Place it's a great fabric store, everyone. If you haven't been, you should take the trek to Rupert, Idaho to try out the gathering place. Back to the retreat. You know, the beds are comfy, the mattresses are good, the showers are hot, the sodas are cold, the coffee's hot. We should have had a soup bar because it was cold. Oh my gosh. It was so cold and then the wind started blowing and it snowed. I can't believe it. I'm so grateful that we were inside this beautiful old building built in 1910 where the heaters kept it warm and we had plenty of quilts to stay warm. We had a great time.
as we were planning the food, I, I told Michelle, we ought to have a soup bar. She goes, oh, it's going to be spring. We don't need a soup bar. Oh my God, we needed a soup bar. But let me tell you, we had some fantastic food. Parmesan chicken that was so tender and flavorful. We had overnight blueberry French toast. Yum. We had a baked potato bar. We had some of the most incredible salads you can imagine. Oh, they were yummy. Shrimp tacos. And then Michelle went ahead and made a dessert every night. So you didn't have to eat it, but who wants to give up eclair tour? Yeah. And it's kind of fun. When you go to the retreat, you get a copy of the recipe book so you can make your own eclair tort and overnight blueberry French toast. I am going to play a few interviews of some of the quilters that were there so you can see what projects they're working on and what everybody got done. I am making this little tiny little quilt. It's 18 by 24. <laughs> and it takes rows of the townhouses. So that's what I'm working on right here. I have one row done and one I'm in the middle of. But I've also been doing a lot of onesie twosie blocks. Hi! I'm just, <laughs> I'm working on a quilt that's more of a strip, a big long strip, which is new to me. So I'm a little intimidated, but we're getting there slowly. And I really like the colors. Yeah, it's beautiful. Just enjoying it. And it's a mess. It's gorgeous. I need to iron it and figure things out, but that's part of the joy. <laughs> it's figuring it out. <laughs> and you got plenty of people here to ask questions when you need to. Oh, and look at this one. That one took me forever. <laughs> oh, because it's on point. Well, it's on point, but all of the little pieces were cut out, so I had to sew all the little pieces together. And um, that one took me about six hours. What gave you the idea to do this project? Well, my daughter found it in a, in a Table Fantastic, I think, two book, anyway. And it was made out of uh, Christmas fabric and then some not so attractive blues and oranges and stuff. And so my daughter said, hey, Mom, make this out of fall for me. And I said, pick out the fabric. So she went through my stash and just picked out several pieces. And we worked on... Yeah. Um, just kind of blending all of them, like we would pick out the colors that were in this color or in this piece, and mm -hmm. we picked out different colors that were, you know, kind of in each different piece, and then we needed a couple bright pieces, so that's when we we added the purples. Yeah, because we had the yellow in the the yellows and the greens and the browns, and we we're like, well, how about purple? Then I'm going to come back and talk about this. What is on my design wall? At the retreat, I found out that sweet Haley, who was helping cook all of our food and take such good care of us, has never owned her own quilt. What are you going to do? We're quilters. We don't let anybody get by without owning one of our quilts, right? So when I went to the gathering place, I bought this cute pattern by Sue Daly. This is it. It's called Vivid. Isn't that cute? I think it's so pretty. And I am making it for Miss Haley. The good news is I don't think she's going to be watching my video, so it will still be a surprise. However, the bad news is I think she's going to start so, I let her know at the retreat that I was making this for her. But I want to talk to you about this pattern. As you can see, it's flying geese and strips. It looks like pretty simple construction. However, we always want our flying geese to come out perfect, right? So, I starch them. Let me show you the fabric I'm using on this quilt. Okay. It is... Color Wall by Sue Daly. I think it is so cute, but a lot of the colors are missing because they're hanging in 
my bathroom on the towel racks drying because I starch them. You've got to take steps like that when you're going to be making something like this with the flying geese in it because you don't want them to not fit. This is going to be a really great size cuddle quilt. It's 59 by 60. I'm kind of excited to get it done. I'm going to be working on it the next couple of days. I will make sure you get to see it because I know you all like to see finished quilts. In the meantime, I've been working on this one and then on the scrappy trip around the world. Plus this week, Michelle and I have quilted five customer quilts as well as I've got a couple waiting to be bound. Do you think we had enough fun at retreat? Mega blast, mega blast. I'll just put it out there. Several of you have asked how you can support my channel or compensate me for my free patterns or templates. Well, they're free, but if you feel like you want to support me and there is no pressure, believe me, I did join Buy Me a Cup of Coffee. Only guess what? I don't drink coffee, but you can buy me a cup of herb tea. I'll be just as happy and it will support my channel if you so desire. Please. No pressure, but the link is going to be in the description box below my video. So the retreat, it was the best. Elizabeth Collins, you got it. We had fun and got a lot of quilting done. Cindy Olson, I want to see you there next year. Enough of this. You've known about it for two years in a row and not come. I'm calling you out, girl. And then Pam Sauce, it's going to be next year. Put it on your calendar the end of April or the 1st of May, I will announce it around the 1st of June. And if you want to be on that list to get an email, contact me through my website and you'll be able to be one of the first ones to get one of those 20 spots. And last but not least, a great big thank you to the sponsors of the gift bags for the quilters. Thank you everybody for watching. I so enjoyed sharing with you. I love your comments. Keep them coming. I'll see you in a week. Bye.